This is Jungle King 007 back with the Central Pneumatic Compressor. Wanted to show a few things that I have updated on it since I got it. First off, um, I put the old um, inlet filter back on. The one that I had modified and created for it, uh, well, I'll show you here, this guy, was just too loud. Um, I mean, it did filter the air going into it and actually helped uh, make this thing fill up much faster. Basically, act like a horn. It, it, it doubled the decibel level almost because it was using this as a resonator tube and just making it way too loud. So I put the old one back on. Um, I'm currently looking at some options. I know there's some, them, some steel ones uh, that have some decent filtration, but also decent airflow. Um, but they're pretty expensive, so I may hold off on it. I mean, this thing's doing good for now, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, the next thing that I did was I actually removed the original regulator. Uh, in, in its place, I put a ball valve. Um, actually, th this was in the original video. I moved it back so that the ball valve was right next to the pressure switch. Uh, I then ran a three-foot line here um down to this this right here is an inline filter and a bigger regulator this both of these are a half inch uh, threaded uh, filter and regulator i actually moved it down here because i wanted to utilize the the bolts that hold the handle in place uh, just to hold this uh, in in place i mean th this thing's pretty big so uh, it wasn't going to fit there in the first place, so I needed a place to, to secure it, uh, especially if I wanted to move this thing around. This right here is of decent quality. Um, I've been using it for now. Uh, I did some tires earlier, and as you can see, it's holding right at about 95 PSI. Uh, let's look at the pressure here. It looks like it's right, just right around 100. But, I mean, this right here was the main thing I wanted to show, was that I relocated the regulator down here, um, and it was bigger. Uh, this should help with better airflow. The inline filter will help with getting the moisture out because when this thing is running, air that is being pulled in is going to be very hot when it's in this, and which means that there's going to be a lot of moisture um, in that air. So it's got to be captured as best as it can so it doesn't get down to your line, doesn't ruin any projects, doesn't ruin your tools. Well, actually, it's been sitting here for a while and I'm, it's pretty humid. Let's see if anything comes out. No, I don't see any, don't feel anything, but um, that's the main point. If this is going to have some heavy usage, you want to have one of these in line just to catch all that moisture so it doesn't get into your lines. And if it's a particular application where you don't want to get air or not air, water um, into your tools or into your project, um, you need one of these. Just to show you how much moisture one of these uh, filter regulators can take out of it. I just let the air out and this right here is really cold because of the very high flow um, that this let the air out. Uh, let me pull this uh, this reservoir off and I'll let you see the, the water for yourself. I barely use this and that right there is a decent amount of moisture that could have gotten into a tool. I don't know if you can see, let's see if I can get some better lighting. Uh, yeah, there you go. That right there is, a, even though this this is a, a big bowl. That is a lot of moisture to be getting into your lines um, and into your tools. That could damage something pretty easily. So this is it is a very good idea to make sure you have an inline uh, filter here because I mean that may not look like much, but that could do a lot of damage. Hopefully this helps you. I mean this this right here is just a compact uh, unit. Just with some little modifications, you can get some better performance out of it. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to post them in the comments. I will take a look at them as soon as I can. This is Jungle King 007. Have a great day.